Good morning my darlings and welcome to a brand new vlog. A bit of a quick intro this morning because I'm about to dash to get the train into London. Today is a day that I have been looking forward to for quite a long time. A few really fun things on the agenda. Firstly, I'm going shopping. After the not so successful shopping trip in Manchester, I'm going to Selfridges in London today and I just know, I know where I'm going in London. I've got a bit of a hit list and I have just got a gut feeling it's going to be a little bit more a bit more of a successful shopping mission. I am then going to get my eyebrows re-microbladed, -mic my top-up appointment with Sean. I think it'll be a little bit quicker and hopefully less, um, hopefully I won't look quite so scary afterwards. And then I'm meeting the girls, we're going to an event with Pandora and I think it's like a mini kind of festival so I'm really looking forward to that. And then we've all got dinner together, so it's going to be a wonderful day. I think I've worn this exact outfit for the last three times heading into London. My lovely Zimmerman dress. It just feels really appropriate. It's long-sleeved, it's modest, and yet it's still glam. And because I'm out for the whole day, I've packed all my essentials in this massive Dior tote. This is actually a loan from the Catwalk Club, and I've got to return it soon, so I'm making the most out of it. It's actually perfect because my makeup bag perfectly matches. So we've got all our bits and bobs. Let's go. Okay, made it to London. I apologize, my vlogging was a little bit rushed at home this morning. I never know if I'm gonna get stuck behind a tractor or anything on the lane, so I do like to give myself 40 minutes to get to the station, even though it's only really a 15 minute drive away, so made it in time. We have just pulled up to Baker Street. I'm here with Lucy, she's just hopped out to grab a smoothie because we are both all smoothies, because we are both feeling like we need a little bit of vitamins. I actually don't think I've eaten anything green in at least four days. Not that my smoothie's gonna be green, it's gonna be pink, but never mind. And then first stop is Selfridges. I have to say, I am gonna be on the lookout for a nice new bag. I don't know, something has just switched and I feel like that is something that I would like to keep my eyes peeled for but I'm not willing to sacrifice unless it's absolutely perfect so just want to be aware of what's out there and also downstairs there is a new space that Samsung have taken over on Wednesday so a couple of days ago they had a big unpacked day where they were announcing all their latest product launches and I was tuning into the live stream had FOMO not gonna lie and it looks like what they've launched is a new phone, a new watch, an update potentially to my Galaxy watch and new earbuds. That's all I know so far, so I'm really excited to see what they've actually launched and potentially try it out, have a little look around the space. I have seen sneak peeks, a few of my friends went down there on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for the morning. Spend a few hours in Selfridges, do a little bit of mooching around the area and then as I said, I'm going to see Sean and um, this is my six week top up appointment so I'm not sure if she'll be doing all over the brows again or if she'll just pick out individual areas like I think maybe the, the tails, is that what they're called, the tails? I think they potentially need a little bit more topping up and then the event later on where I'm going to meet up with Em, Emily and Freddy so it's going to be a lovely day. Here comes Lucy with our smoothies so it's time to shop. new technology you can see all of their bits and bobs down here behind me I did not even know they do this but there's an area called bespoke home they've got all these different refrigerator units Charlie and I have had a Samsung frame TV on our wish list for a very long time um, and they have also launched all their new phones watches and earbuds so I'm very excited to see those I'm always carrying around the world's smallest handbag within 
packing my big bag for the photos and to complement the outfit. So I'm going to check out the Z Flip, the new version, because it is the ultimate tiny handbag phone. Here we are, the most beautiful area in the tech space downstairs in Selfridges. I love the colours that Samsung always go for. So unfold your world, we're going to check out the latest in the Z series. So we've got the new Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3. The Z Fold 3 has always really intrigued me. I've got a friend that's got this phone. It's like a tablet. It's so huge screen wise. Really good I would say if you do anything creative for work. And then you've also got the screen on the front here as well. But this little beauty here is what I'm most excited to check out. So this is the Galaxy Z Flip 3. I have got number two, and as you might be able to see, in fact, let me show you my old one. So this here is my Z Flip 2. So as you can see, one of the main changes that they have done for number three is this incredible, absolutely ginormous screen on the front. So previously you'd be able to see a little teaser of what's come up on your phone, whether that's a notification or an email. Whereas now, hopefully my camera will be able to pick it up a little bit more clearly. You get so much information on here. There's loads of different widgets you can choose from, voice memo, timers. Um, you can obviously get your emails on here. You can get the weather. And you can also, very importantly, take selfies. There's lots of different photo modes. Change the lens, change the mode, shoot pictures, shoot video. I really hope this is showing up on my camera because this picture quality is absolutely insane. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, depending on the kind of picture that you want to take. That is so clever. Something else that I love about the flip phones is that if you, like me, like to take tiny little handbags around with you, even if they do come inside your massive bag with all of your stuff in, these phones where they fold down are absolutely minuscule. So even the world's tiniest little Jacquemus handbags, these are the perfect size for popping in. Or if you're not taking a bag with you, for guys especially, so handy to just have one that's, that fits in your jeans without creating a massive bulge. If you've got a Samsung Galaxy, you can connect it with your watch. In fact, let's go and have a little look at the new watches over here because they've got some really cool new features. So I didn't actually realize before today that there are two different options. So the one that I have got is the traditional um, Galaxy, but they've also got the Active. These ones are a little bit, um, a little bit sleeker in their design. Obviously, if you're wearing it for the gym, things like that, um, these straps are absolutely perfect. There's two different sizes of the watch face. And something that's new on these ones is the health app. So this can, as with the previous ones, measure your steps, measure your activity. Uh, you can actually track your activity on here. You can see how many calories you've burnt in the day, your active days, set yourself targets, uh, and then you can send it over to your phone to check everything out in more detail. But what this one also does, it can measure your heart rate, and it also takes a body fat measure, which is incredible. And it also, it's got a sleep tracking mode, which the previous one did as well. Um, but this one actually analyzes your snoring. So if you or your other half is a snorer, then this will monitor that and let you know um, your sleep patterns and things like that. But what I've always said that I find so helpful about these watches is that if your phone is on the other side of the room or something, you get an email, you get a WhatsApp, you can check it on your phone. Um, and you don't have to be that antisocial person checking your phone at the dinner table. So this is the Galaxy one. Like, this is the updated version of my watch here. They've got some lovely new straps and what they've actually done this time, which I think is really clever, they've got leather on one side, but then they're actually silicone on the other side. So if you are gonna wear it when you're out and about, when you're running, walking, um, this is a little bit more hygienic to have the silicone on the other side. And they've got the easy release straps. So if you want to switch them around, I actually think the brown leather with my pink watch face could look really beautiful. And another new launch are the new buds. So these are the original buds designs that I've got. And then you can see the shape of these new ones has been redesigned. So they kind of go in the so they kind of go in the ear a little bit more and when you pop it in for the first time it'll do an analysis of your ear canal to make sure it's giving you the absolute best sound quality and I'm a little bit obsessed with this sage green colour, it looks absolutely beautiful. In case you are very clumsy like I am, I have just been shown that they do do these very jazzy cases. This is like a, a rubbery kind of bounce case for the Z Flip. I was wondering how they would work. So this one's actually got this area in the middle. Um, it's even got a little keychain as well. If you are always losing your phone like I am, great way of protecting it, even though it's a flip phone. 
So it was mission successful down on the lower ground floor at Samsung. We are now up on, I think this is the third floor. This is one of my favorite areas to come and check out the holiday bits. We've got so many of my favorite brands. They've got Zimmerman, they've got Marisha. They've got lots of little bits and bobs that you never knew you needed for your holiday. Lots of beautiful hats, towels, beach bags. So let's go and have a mooch around. This is a brand I've not heard of before, Cleone. But it looks quite Hunza G-esque with this like seersucker material which I always find so flattering. And I love to see that they have got my favourites, cordially, sun care over here, clean for the ocean. Ah, and this is actually why I'm coming for dinner later. This is Hive. I looked at the menu online, it looks amazing. This is the restaurant on the roof at uh, Selfridges and Dior have taken over for the summer. Got their beautiful twirl print on the walls. Lucy and I were remarking at how beautiful the menu is. So I think we're just gonna get some little nibbles. They've got a nice looking flatbread and a parma, parma ham, little uh, breadsticks I think they're gonna be. Wowza, excuse the noise of the builders in the background, but our food has arrived. Considering we only came here for a little snack, we have gone to town. This is called the Gokki with prosciutto, and we are both expecting a little breadstick wrapped in prosciutto, but we've got this incredible item. And then we have got a sun-dried tomato flatbread, and my mouth is watering so much even telling you about it, because it smells delicious. Lucy has got, what have you got to drink? Coconut. A coconut coffee and I have got an iced popcorn latte which again smells delicious with this beautiful view. If only there were blue skies but can't have everything. You don't often see small straw bags. I'm always so tempted by Dior. Oh, there is something about Chloe bags that will always draw me in. I mean, that is just absolutely adorable. Probably a little bit more trend-led than I wanted. And also, that is rather a lot for a teeny tiny bag. But I think this is my favorite that I've seen so far today. I always love the Chloe basket bags. Quite like all the writing on this one. My camera is not loving the lighting. It is mission unsuccessful. I'm not gonna force myself into making a purchase if I don't see the exact right thing. I feel like it's one of those instances where I'll know it when I see it, whether it's here or whether it's online, I'm not sure. All I know is I'm in the market for a new bag, but yeah, I'm not gonna rush into buying anything. I've not seen anything so far that's really jumped out at me. And anyway, it's time for me now to head to Shan. My microblading appointment, I feel bad for because I'm so garlicky after we just ate lunch, it's delicious but ultra garlicky. I've also just bumped into a couple of lovely viewers. I always feel, I always feel like really overwhelmed when I meet people in real life that watch my videos. Everyone is always so, so friendly. But I did have to apologize to a couple of the girls who saying because I'm so garlicky. But anyway, time to go and get my brows done. I'll see you there.
30 minute brow appointment later. She did pretty much the same as she did the first time. So like a full on um, microblading. I thought it might have been a little top up, but it was full on microblading again. But it's all good because we are now in the park in Middle Temple Lane. And I'm here with... Hi! Hi! Emma and Ed. <laughs> there's, there's like a wheel spinning around and it literally has um, donuts, churros, ice cream, mini little toffee apples. Oh We've basically God, been cute. eating all day. Mac and cheese, you burgers, are so cute. donuts. And now Josie's gonna come and we're gonna get to eat everything again. We're and wine. <laughs> wine! <laughs> We love. Oh, you have this too. Um, mine has slightly more purple on it. Very similar. Really? Not nice. 
What a shame. For Ibiza, yeah. tea yeah. fucking oil. Yeah. That looks insane. Mm. Is that the baked camembert? Good morning, darlings. It's now Sunday morning. A couple of days since my lovely day in London. Not sure how, <laughs> how much footage I will have just popped in from um, Friday afternoon because we went to the Pandora Festival. It was like a festival kind of um, event in Middle Temple Lane, which is like a private gated garden area down by the river in London. It was great fun. There were like Ferris wheels with treats. There was a lot of rosé and a very good time was had. Let's just say that. Um, so a really lovely afternoon. And then Freddie, Em and Emily and I headed back to Selfridges. We met the girls from Galan and they showed us... Oh, I think it might be downstairs. Darn it, it's downstairs. Basically, they have launched a 100ml, so a bigger size, of the Galan Watery Oil, which is one of the loveliest skincare products I have ever used. It's really lovely and hydrating, so pampering. I'm going to pop some of that on later. Um, we had dinner with the girls from Galan at the Hive restaurant, which is in Selfridges, which was the perfect tie-in because Galan is all about um, the wonderful ingredients of honey, it's restorative and soothing powers, and Hive as a restaurant have honey in a lot of their dishes. I had the most amazing melted, it's like a melted camembert with honey baked, and then the little slices of bread were toasted and they had honey on them, and for someone that loves honey, it was amazing. And then I had a sleepover at Freddy's, which was great fun. I went and had a look around her flat. She has done such a good job. Honestly, her and her family have just done the most amazing job renovating that apartment. It is the most, it's the most perfect place for her. Like the, the size of the rooms is absolutely perfect. The living room is one of the most beautiful rooms I have ever been in. And she has just added the Freddy touch and made it so gorgeous. My battery needs changing. You may be able to hear the church bells going off in the background. It's their Sunday morning practice and I love to hear it. So then yesterday from Freddy's, I went to Charlie's mum and dad's house. We took the quadricycle and the pedicab around Windsor Park again. I think it I took a couple of shots on the camera. Um, so I'll pop those in here. It was just a really lovely day. There was a polo match going on at Guards Polo Club um, and we had a lovely picnic. It was Charlie's brother's girlfriend's birthday last week so we were kind of celebrating that as well. We had a Percy pig cake. Charlie's mum made a carrot cake which was delicious so it was a really really nice day. And oh and also um, my mum was sending me videos from here because basically my brother's four sons, my nephews, are here to stay at the moment and one of them in particular the eldest and well and the second eldest they're obsessed with tractors and as you may know, Mum's uh, the coach house has this amazing big triangular window which looks out onto a field, huge field, amazing views. And it just so happened that yesterday they were combine harvesting that field. I'll pop some videos on the screen here. So um, the boys got to watch the combine harvester up close, and it was a really lovely evening. It was like golden hour, and you can just see the the dust from the combine harvester up in the air. Uh, that looked really magical. And then the farmer saw the little boys like all pressed up against the window watching in amazement and invited them to go onto the combine harvester and he drove them around a little bit. So they had a really magical evening and it was just so sweet to see um, their little faces. So they had a great day. Great day. They stayed over again last night um, and today we are heading to somewhere called the Batsford Arboretum. And an arboretum, as far as I'm aware, is like a, a like a tree area, an area where there's lots of amazing trees um, and I've heard that it's really beautiful there and they have currently got on a hedgehog trail. So we're going to take the little boys for a hedgehog trail around Batsford Arboretum which is going to be lovely. Um, we're going to have a picnic lunch and then tonight Charlie and I are going to Soho Farmhouse with our friends Ben and Robin. We've not seen them in a little while. We have a lot to catch up on and yeah, it's going to be a lovely day at Charlie's mum and dad's, which is where we stayed the night before we went to Ibiza. I had ordered a massive order 
from the outnet in the hope of taking it with me to Ibiza. I ordered it on the Wednesday in, and paid for next day delivery, hoping it would arrive on the Thursday, but it didn't arrive until the Monday and we flew on the Saturday. So I missed it, which is a real pain. Um, so long ago now that I can't remember most of the stuff that's in the order, but I have got it here. What time is it? Okay, I've probably just about, oh, I didn't even tell you as well. So obviously on, um, so on Friday I had my eyebrows re-microbladed. Um, you basically have to go in twice so that it lasts a little bit longer. I feel like they don't look as scary today as they did two days after I had the first appointment. I have got my aftercare kit again, my coconut oil. This time I'm going to be more careful because I did manage to get them infected last time. I think because I was exercising when I was told not to. You obviously don't want to get anything in them because they are open cuts. Um, so yeah, they do look dark. But not as dark as they did before. Not. I don't feel the need to like apologise and wear a hat. I don't feel the need to wear a cap to hide them as much as I did last time. Um, but I'm not, I'm gonna be really good with my aftercare this time. And you're not meant to get your face wet at all for 10 days. So I find showering quite hard. So as you might be able to tell, hair scraped back today. Um, and I might even be really bougie and get a blow dry at the farmhouse later so that my hair is okay for tomorrow so I can film some videos. But anyway, I am rambling. I'm gonna open up my box from the outnet. I don't know if I'll try anything on because most of the stuff was for Ibiza, so a lot of it might just go straight back. But let's um, have a little reminder as to what I purchased. Mm -hmm. a little try on because why not? I've given these bits a very very quick steam, they could probably do with a more thorough steam. This is the item that I was most excited about. I'm not gonna lie, I am truly gutted that these bits didn't arrive in time for our Ibiza trip because they are so perfect for summer holidays. If you guys have got summer holidays coming up, I would so highly recommend a little look on the outnet. I will leave these bits leave um I will leave these bits linked down below and I do also regularly do regularly Gosh, I can't tell it's funny. I do also regularly do little edits um, because sometimes it can be quite hard to find the best bits on there. So I do regularly do edits and post them on my Like to Know It um, and on my Instagram and on my newsletter. So I'll leave the latest one linked down below. But yes, basically the outnet, by the way, is Net-a-Porter's like last season stuff. So you can often find things at a fraction of the price, which is why I love it. And especially designs like Zimmerman that in my opinion, never really date. You can get just incredible gems and accessories so I got this Burberry massive tote bag it's like a oh sheesh kebabs <laughs> that was not very clever dangling it from the Dior bag I mean essentially they're laughing because this is just like a hessian material with Burberry printed on it and then quite basic leather outers but it is a really practical massive bag I wanted it for a beach bag didn't arrive in time so I think I will actually return this um, but if it had arrived before the holiday it would have been an amazing beach bag absolutely ginormous I do carry a lot of stuff with me when I'm on holiday if you are on holiday with your children perhaps and you need a lot of stuff everyone's towels you would fit your entire family's beach day stuff in here um but yeah i just don't feel like i need it now that our holiday's done so i'm going to send the bag back but if you are a big bag lover like i am i think that is rather wonderful but back to the dress i had actually wanted this dress um when i saw it originally on netta porter i think i will keep this even though the holiday's done because it is so me i love a body i love a um tight fitting corset love the buttons down the front it is a very me length beautiful florals down at the bottom it's just very very elegant and classic and timeless and yeah the kind of thing that i absolutely love to wear so the first dress is an absolute winner let's look at the accessories so i ordered this pair of very cool girl sunglasses they are prada quite what's the word is it lara croft um, yeah, that kind, of, that kind of vibe. Not sure if I will 
keep these now because again did buy them for Ibiza. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think to the accessories. Something that I will keep is this hat. I had wanted the um, current season version which has got the white, what's it called, bow on it that is currently on stock in Netta Porter. Uh, it is from Eugenia Kim. I think Lydia's got the one with the white bow, but I actually think I love the pink one. I do already have a straw hat with a white bow. Actually, no, it's just got a white ribbon, but this I think is absolutely fabulous. It does need a little bit of reshaping from where it has been in the box for quite some time, because obviously I haven't been to Chai's parents since before we left for Ibiza, so it's just been in the box for like three weeks. But absolutely gorgeous. I love statement hats. I wear hats a lot. I use them as photo props a lot. And I just think it's absolutely wonderful and it was I think about half the price of the one which is in stock in season at the moment. And then because I love a visor I also added this to my basket, um, also from Eugenia Kim, but I think out of the two I definitely prefer the hat. So I think I'm going to return the visor, it's quite fun if you have got like a really pink and preppy vibe I think that would look awesome with a lovely bright pink bikini. Now I'm not too sure if I've done this correctly, there's not, there's almost not quite enough um, of a, uh, what do you call it, tassel here to make a proper bow, so I've just kind of done what I do with my winter coats and do like a half pull through jobby, but other than this, maybe, I, maybe I'm meant to do a knot, as you can see it's got an open section here, um, again tight and body fitting on the bodice and that same maxi silhouette, no pockets on this one, just rather plain linen otherwise, again just a perfect Ibiza summer evening outfit which I absolutely love, oh, gosh it's so classic and timeless that it just, it does seem a real shame to send this back because I know that any upcoming holidays if we do manage to get away for some winter sun, Chai and I are a bit unsure as to how we feel about long haul flights during these times, but um, maybe we'll not be able to resist some winter sun. And I do think this looks absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very classic. Adjustable straps and the bodice. Oh, it really is quite lovely. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just remind myself that I paid for all of these bits. And if it's a really good price, this is Zimmerman. So I think I probably got it around 40% off the retail price. I think that will be the deciding factor. If it was a real steal, then I will keep this. But otherwise, I'll be very sad to see it go. Wow, this next outfit has a lot of potential to be absolutely incredible. So it is a jumpsuit. You've got this lovely, sorry, I know you guys don't like the antique detail on the mirror. Um, it's got a lovely scallop detail down at the bottom. You can just see it on my feet there. And then it is a halter neck style. The only thing that I am thinking is it's not very cinchy in here. Um, and it does make me look quite like the same length all the way down. It's very voluminous on the bodice. You have got this ruffle detail, almost looks like, um, <laughs> kind of looks like a serviette. And then a low back. I have got a brassier on, so it could be, it would be more back if I didn't have the bra on. I think, yeah, it has got a lot of potential, but the fit on me is just not quite right. I think I would potentially need to size down on this just to make it like smaller everywhere. I'll see if they have got a size down because I really want to love this. It's such a gorgeous summer statement outfit. Of course, everything in this collection is white because Ibiza is the white aisle. Um, yeah, I love it, but there's just too much fabric everywhere. So fingers crossed, I might be able to get the size down. Wow, oh wow, this is another of the dresses that I did actually have in my net -a porter basket when it was full price, and it is another beautiful dress from Zimmerman. They've got rather ginormous tags on them. This is so me. It is a beautiful, classic, elegant white dress with a gorgeous square neckline, beautiful floral um, lace fabric over the top, and I really like this detail in the middle. It's a very Zimmerman-esque detail. I have to say, if you are getting married this summer and you're looking for some very beautiful outfits for a hen -do or for additional wedding celebrations or even for a what do you call it, um, registry office ceremony, this could definitely pass as the most beautiful bridal dress. It's absolutely gorgeous and it fits a treat. It's the perfect amount of tightness. 
you have a very soft scallop down here at the bottom. Don't know if you can see that there. It's quite a smart dress, so occasion-wise, obviously you couldn't wear this to anyone else's wedding, but if you have got any other lovely smart events in your summer calendar, this would have been a great dress for Wimbledon, for Henley, those kinds of things. I'm trying to think if I've got anything I can wear this to. I don't know if you can wear white to other people's christenings. I think that's fine, in which case, I have got my outfit sorted for an upcoming christening. And then the last piece, which I'm not going to try on because it would just look better over a swimsuit, which I can't bother to put on right now, is something from Charo Ruiz, which is a brand that also very kindly sent a dress to our hotel in Ibiza. And this is a beach cover-up. It's got their very iconic lace detail, this lovely lace trim at the bottom. It is a robe-style cover-up, which I love when you just don't really want to get properly dressed after a day on the beach, but also lovely for relaxing in your hotel. It is a mini length, a midi length rather. And I think this is actually made in Ibiza. I will definitely keep this for our next holiday because things like this are always on trend, always something that you need for a vacation. So that is my out then order. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you can We've got this exact tree.